consider a body which is having an initial velocity of v0 that is at the point a let its velocity be v0 and after covering through a distance s let its velocity be v call this point as point b and at the point b let its velocity be v let the time taken by the body to move from a to b be t let this distance be s then we have the displacement s is equal to v average into time since the body is traveling through a straight line its distance and displacement remains the same so you can either call it as distance or displacement so displacement will be average velocity into time and average velocity will always be the arithmetic mean of initial and final velocity that is v plus v0 by 2 into time call this as equation number one but you know acceleration a is equal to change in velocity divided by time taking this t to the left and a to the denominator you will get t equal to v minus v0 divided by a let this be your equation number two then substitute 2 in 1, equation number 2 in 1, then you will get S is equal to V plus V0 by 2 into T. Instead of T, you can write V minus V0 divided by A. That is that is S is equal to you can multiply the numerator numerators that is v plus v0 into v minus v0 divided by 2 into a is 2a s is equal to a plus b into a minus b that is v square minus v0 square divided by 2a you can take this 2a to the left you will get 2as is equal to v square minus v0 square or v square minus v0 square equal to 2as implies you can take this v minus v0 square to the right you will get v square equal to v0 square plus 2as so that's our third kinematic equation